Welcome back, I'm Soundwave Spectre, dropping in with another Helldivers 2 analysis video, and this time it's the official launch trailer, which makes me so excited to say we're just a mere three weeks away from February 8th, and the wait cannot feel longer, especially since their Twitter announced today that the game has finally gone gold. Now this was a short but very sweet trailer, and let me tell you there's a lot of cool little details in here that we're focused on, so I went frame by frame, and here's a couple of the coolest details I found out that I wanted to point out to you guys. First thing the trailer really shows is some absolutely stellar animations. Just look at these slow down a little bit. The game is already looking gorgeous, but these animations are just what the Super Earth Doctors have ordered. Capes blowing gloriously in the wind. Look at the mechanics of the guns that they fire. Even how the diver drops his gun to his hip before throwing his grenade. All look absolutely wonderful and fluid. And just look at the crater when the explosion hits. It looks amazing. Speaking of fluid, the trailer really showcased a lot of the implications of the new third person perspective in terms of movement. We've all been saying how crouching was going to be huge to avoid friendly fire and we actually get to see it on display here as one diver can be seen crossing under the fire of another. But what we haven't seen before this trailer is actually a diver firing from prone at two separate scenes here. I'm sure that might not be groundbreaking for some, but there's a couple of even hard hitting classics such as Star Wars Battlefront 2 and the 2017 remake that didn't even have prone. So I didn't want to assume prior to its confirmation, especially since Helldivers 1 did not have that feature as well. What is unexpected here though is that they showcase being able to run in one direction while shooting from behind with the pistol. I imagine this is a one-handed feature, which was a mechanic in the first one and probably has some benefits to not slowing down. We'll have to see more when we get in there, but certainly a cool feature. We also got to get a cool glimpse at some stratagems, both new and old. We see the Gatling turret once again, a new mountable MG nest, which reminds me of the stratagems from the Entrenched DLC. Uh, some sort of dome shield, what looks like a laser guard dog, javelin-esque co-op rocket, and an awesome look at how the mines will be deployed, as well as a reminder of their lethality. Here I slow down this moment of automaton destruction to see that we actually have some sort of new enemy walker to contend with. They showed it twice in this trailer, as well as a look at the old classic tank from the cyborgs in the last game, though this time it's got a machine gun to boot and that's sure to complicate things. Now we did get a good look at other things as well, though we saw most of them, like the emotes and armor, some of them being the Super Earth Collector's Edition, which was cool, but not groundbreaking. If you're looking for more information and some other great answers from a YouTuber that got some information from the devs, like no tethering being confirmed like in the first game, as well as every weapon having both third and first person aiming, go check out Mog's HD again, card above and link in the description below. It's always nice to see other people as hyped for a game as I am, and this game is no doubt going to be my game of the year. If you guys are excited as I am to spread some freedom and manage democracy, hit that like and subscribe button. I'm going to be streaming this game like every day when it comes out, as it's my civic duty to my fellow citizens. And join the Discord link in the description if you like to come hang. The galaxy needs you, and I'd love to fight side by side with you unless you're a disgusting bug sympathizer. But thanks for watching guys, if you missed any of my previous trailer analyses, check them out, or maybe check out one of my past Super Earth Sunday streams. Once again, I'm Sound Inspector, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!